it's Monday and I just arrived at Jacob's to a great surprise! Thank you guys so much for the shower curtain. You are totally awesome and I love it and I'm so excited to see how it looks in my awesome new bathroom and my awesome new apartment which I'm moving into in less than two weeks. So yay! Um, the coolest thing about you guys getting me the shower curtain is not the shower curtain itself, although I have to say the shower curtain is pretty epic and I will show it to you once it's you know unwrapped and hung and all of that. But the fact that... Okay, so let me tell you a story and then I'll kind of get back to my point. Um, growing up, whenever I wanted something, um, within reason, um, I would say to my dad, Hey dad, can I have this? Or hey dad, can we do this? And he would always say no, or he would sort of shrug his shoulders, and it, time, enough time would pass that I, was, that I would assume it wasn't going to happen. Um, and then, sure enough, just as I had kind of given up all hope, there it would be. You know, like an example is we went to New York and I really wanted to see Wicked. This was the first time I ever saw Wicked. Um, and so um, my dad said oh, I couldn't get Wicked tickets, but I got Avenue Q tickets. Um, so we went and we saw Avenue Q, and then the next morning I was yelling at my dad for holding us up for our brunch table, and then he held up four tickets for Wicked, and we went and saw Wicked. So that's kind of an example of the way things have always gone in my family. Um, and it's something that I've almost come to expect of my dad, which I know makes me a little spoiled, but um, it's not something I've come to expect from my circle of friends necessarily. Um, and that's sort of what you guys did. Like, you all got me um, other smaller gifts, which were awesome. Um, and then all of a sudden I showed up at Jacob's going, oh, I've gotten these gifts from other people, neat, and I'm just going to hang out, and it's just going to be a chill night, and he's got this gift for me, and it's what I've been asking you all for ever since I saw it online. So, um, I feel like I have a group of friends who love me enough to do for me what my parents do for me, um, if that makes any sense. Anyway, it just feels really good, and I love you all so much. Um, Anyway, so last weekend I went to Laconia, to the Margate Resort in New Hampshire, and I spent about 15 hours with about 14 other people planning a Harry Potter convention, which I'm sure I've mentioned to you guys, but it's Eternitas. Um, and it's going to be really amazing, and there's so much cool stuff, and I wish I could tell you all about it, but I can't because it's a secret. What can I tell you about? I can tell you that I'm Wizard Rock Chair. I can tell you that... Um, we have some, we have a really fun announcement about Wizard Rock coming up soon. Um, I can tell you that, uh, the decorations are awesome, the hotel is beautiful. I can tell you there's going to be a fashion show, which if it happens like we're envisioning it, it's going to be amazing. I can tell you that it's at this idyllic hotel in this idyllic town by a beautiful lake, and a lot of the events are going to be in a big tent outdoors. Um, that's what I can tell you. There's a lot more that I can't tell you, but... Um, hopefully it'll be announced soon, so looking forward to that. Um, what else? Next weekend is Aresia, which I'll tell you all about next weekend, or next Monday. Um, and then I move, and I've been packing all my stuff, and it's stressful, and I hate it, and I'm ready to just snap my fingers and have it all in my new apartment. Um, theme! This week's theme, something that makes you reminiscent for childhood. I love having conversations about, like, old Nickelodeon TV shows, like Clarissa Explains It All, um, and The Secret Life of Alex Mack was one of my favorites. And then the cartoons, like Rugrats and Doug, um, were also great. But the thing, I think, when I was a kid, so there are three things that come to mind. The first is the Brave Little Toaster, which I wanted to rent every time we went to Blockbuster, um, which I love to watch again and again, although I've watched it since then and it's not very good. But it was great as a kid. Um, the second is Sesame Street, which I was obsessed with as like a young child. Uh, and the third is Goodnight Moon, which I knew every word to by the time I was two years old, maybe one and a half, um, because it was my favorite book and my parents read it to me, you know, several times a week um, because I begged them to. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!